Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you have multiple files stored in your Google Photos that you want to upload to your iCloud account? In this video, I recommend two different methods in which you can export your Google Photos directly to your iCloud storage. Let's go! The first method is to transfer your Google Photos conveniently from your iPhone. To get started, open the App Store and download Google Photos on your device if you haven't done so already. Once installed, launch the app and allow it to access your gallery. Click Continue and then choose Allow Access to All Photos when prompted. Initially, you'll be given the option to back up all your photos to your Google account. Let's skip this for now and tap on Do Not Back Up. When the dashboard loads, all images from both your local gallery and Google Photos are merged by default. Simply locate all of your Google Photos images, which are conveniently grouped according to the date they were created. To select all images at once, click the check mark beside each date. Or you can press and hold an image until the check boxes appear for each photo, so you can select only those you want to upload to iCloud. After selection, tap the Share button below and choose Save to Device to upload them to your gallery. These recently saved photos will then automatically sync to your iCloud account provided that you have it enabled prior to saving. To check, open Settings, tap on your name and go to iCloud. Then tap Photos and make sure that Sync This iPhone is activated. Note that the upload process takes some time, especially if you have a lot of images, but they should be online within two days. As another alternative, you can also use a computer to upload your Google Photos into your iCloud. In order to do this, you must first manually download your Google Photos. Open your browser and visit photos.google.com. You can also refer to the tag and link below for guidance. Keep in mind that this method is limited to 500 files per export. To start, simply click each checkbox to select your photos. After selection, click the three-dot menu above and hit Download. The downloaded images are compiled into one zip file by default. On the other hand, if you have more than 500 files in your Google Photos and want them downloaded all at once, you can use Google Takeout. From your browser, visit takeout.google.com and sign in to your Gmail account. By default, all data from various Google services is selected and ready for export. In this case, we only need Google Photos. So click Deselect All to clear all selections. Then locate Google Photos from the list. To make it easier, you can also use your browser's default Find tool by pressing the Ctrl and F keys if you're on Windows, or Command and F if you're using a Mac. Make sure Google Photos is checked. Scroll down to the bottom and click Next Step to continue. Note that all albums, including all image file formats, will be included in the exported data. On the next page, customize your export options. First, choose where you want to receive the data. You can select it to be through your email, OneDrive, and many others. Choose whichever is most convenient for you. In my case, I want it sent to my email address. Next, set the frequency to Export Once. Then set the file type and size. For compatibility purposes, it's better to leave it as a zip file. As for the file size, make sure the limit you set is larger than the actual size of your Google Photos so that it can be exported in a single zip file. Otherwise, exports larger than the limit you set will be split into multiple files. Once everything is set, click the Create Export button. The export may take several hours or days, depending on the file size of the data you are requesting. If you have set the data to be transferred to your email, be sure to check your Gmail account and look for an email from Google Takeout. If there is, open the email and click on the Download Your Files button embedded in the content. For security purposes, you will be asked to re-enter your Gmail account password. Once directed to the Manage Your Exports page, click the Download button in the table row. As expected, the exported data is compiled into one zip file. 
make sure to extract it before proceeding to the next step. If everything is ready, next visit www.icloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID. Provide your two-factor authentication code if prompted, particularly if this is the first time you've signed in using your computer. On the dashboard, click on Photos. Next, click the Upload button at the top and navigate to the folder where you've previously saved your Google Photos. Select them all and click Open to start uploading. Keep in mind that when uploading to the iCloud website, only images in the standard JPEG format are allowed. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.